<laughs> what, what do you tell them? I think one time, I went for an interview and uh, uh-huh. when they made me sing, uh-huh. somebody phoned in and said, Hey, Charlie, guy, girl, no work studio, no, you're good. Oh. <laughs> I said, Girl, no studio, girl, no, you're studio good. no. So mm. I had to say, Oh, Charlie, <laughs> Bema. <laughs> and I was like, Oh, creepy. Uh, oh, now Bema's now voice. <laughs> um, me. I feel I feel privileged because it's different. It's different mm-hmm. from the crowd. Mm-hmm. I feel um, yeah, that's what God gave me, mm-hmm. and that's what makes me unique. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate the fact that it makes me unique, stands me out of of, of the, the lot, and then it makes me feel okay. I have something to present that mm. nobody has. What was it? A conscious attempt to sound the way you sound. I can't change the way my voice sounds. Mm. Even this one, I've been singing ah, throughout the weekend. I've lost my voice, <laughs> but it still sounds smallish. And not tell me to me no, because you can't go and do. Hey, bring your money. No, I'm fat. <laughs> oh, but the guy will do the talking for you. Yeah, oh my god, oh my god, you go I see, but, but it's a good feeling, like you said. Yes, it makes you stand out. Yes, sir. How busy was? Uh, creamy this christmas uh, in terms of cashing in from the event here and there um crazy was um creamy was quite busy mm-hmm. but it was busy because i wanted to party mm-hmm. i wanted to party i felt like going through 2020 it, it was a victory for me a lot of things happened including covid that had taken a lot of lives i'm still alive i'm still healthy mm-hmm. i still have my music people mm-hmm. still love me I felt like no, let me party. So I was busy partying, but I did do a couple of gigs, like then wedding gigs, like then you know uh, media gigs when they had the shows. I even mm-hmm. came to your show here. Oh, you came yeah. to the xylophone yes, uh, TV, yeah, yes, the nine carols yes, and sir. lessons, yeah. And we we're all moving all around, and mm. they wanted to hear a lot of creamy. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I was busy. Mm. So in terms of cashing in, are you saying creamy did not cash in because it was a season, a season for artists to be making some good money? Yeah, it was, it was a good season. What I'll say is most most of the programs couldn't have a lot of people there because of the safety COVID, protoc- yeah. protocols yeah. and um, because of uh, yeah these COVID, the COVID restrictions the fear yeah of COVID mm-hmm. yeah and so uh, most of the organizers couldn't make that much money mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. at least there was a good agreement between you and uh, them my management and them so that mm-hmm. we could also still keep the the fire band still performing mm-hmm. and they would also have their shows alive i see so because you did not make money is that why you joined the stingy men association that one dear <laughs> when i saw the card i laughed my head out hey boys can do anything no? <laughs> see the way i'm standing beside the thing <laughs> i look stingy already in the card <laughs> Hey. And now you're also confirming that you don't make money. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I can't confirm this. <laughs> Maybe that, that's that's why you joined. Uh, the, the only thing is, if uh-huh. you see it, if and you can't beat them, uh-huh. join them. <laughs> oh, so people are doing those cards, eh? People are doing the cards. <laughs> uh, oh, and I, did you did you see my motto? <laughs> Hey, my, <laughs> no, everybody's what, what, motto, what was motto wasn't as funny as mine. Uh, what was your motto? When I when I opened the card, uh-huh. my motto was. Oh, 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 you didn't tell me early. Why you can't tell me? Me, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't tell me. Mrs. and I'm the movie. <laughs> hey, that motor to boys, they use you. Hey. That format, which I like it. You should have said this last month. I know, right? Last month, that was when I oh. had money. This month. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, see, see, you know, the last bit name Ma OBC. What the end chain ending? <laughs> I see. Now, looking at your work you did in 2020, uh, yes, sir. Do you think this year, 2021, most of the awards coming up, uh, Creamy will be placed well in most of the categories? Um, I think I have one of the biggest songs in Ghana which is uh Je, mm-hmm. and um, uh, so them find it's, it's a 2020 release. Um, no, okay. Jet is a latter part of 2019. 2019. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, but the remix wasn't. The remix was 2020. Okay. So uh, uh, the the original one wasn't in 2020, but the mm-hmm. remix is in. So I'm hoping that the remix will be because for the collaboration, everybody says that it was one of the best collaborations mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with all these awesome artists, and um, it, it kind of like shone a different light to the song. Mm-hmm. So I'm hoping that one would would be in it. Mm-hmm. And I have so them fine, mm-hmm. uh, so them fine too was in 2020 was released 2020. Okay, and also did good in the industry. Mm-hmm. It wasn't as big as Jeff, but mm-hmm. was good. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. and, and I'm hoping that uh, with that would cash in some, you know, uh, one or two <laughs> awards. I'm, I'm just, so, so, I'm just so, so, so praying like, for like, that. like which categories are you preempting that all things being equal, you should be here, it should be there. Oh, most popular song. Um, most popular song for Jet Remix. Jet Remix. Okay. Most popular song. It mm-hmm. could also get some, you know, best move vocals for Soul and Vine. <laughs> Any of them. Mm. Actually, I'm not focusing mm-hmm. on the awards too much. Mm-hmm. If we get them, hallelujah. Mm. If we don't get them, amen. We are still there. Mm. We are still running. We are still mm. making music. And mm. 2021 is up. I'm running with one of the newest, biggest bangers okay. in Ghana. I see. Now, l- let's talk about artists and labels. Yes, sir. Um, in recent times, almost every artist I interview will tell me, oh, Brasami, I enjoy being independent. You are lucky you are under a label that is the highly spiritual. Yeah. Um, are you also waiting that in the near future you become an independent artist? When, may- when maybe your, your, your terms and conditions have all expired? Um, I think it depends on growth, growth level. Mm-hmm. I, I believe that everybody would attest to the fact that Creamy from Hitmaker to Creamy Now mm-hmm. has been a huge growth because there's the presence of the label, mm-hmm. which is highly spiritual music. You can see mm-hmm. clearly see the difference. Mm-hmm. And everybody who says they want to be independent means that probably they've gotten to a point they can stand on their two feet and move. Mm-hmm. If Creamy gets to the point where he knows that oh my contract is over everything everything is sorted everybody is okay and i can stand on my two feet fine mm-hmm. apprentice be we are we are we are we are but then again if you feel you are not ready for it child, mm-hmm. don't rush mm-hmm. this life and casa is not a race so. mm-hmm. and where best would help you you have to make sure you stay there and make there better for mm-hmm. you now uh-huh. Mm. it's it's just when we get to that stage mm. you know what so so you you, you would first consider whether you're going to enjoy from the label more before you continue how many years did you do though come on football is not <laughs> they get offers all the time uh-huh. i'm talking about big offers uh-huh. they think about where it would it will help them uh-huh. and then if they will move they will move if they will stay they will stay mm. Mm. So how many years like more that? do you have to do at highly spiritual um i think a year you have a year more yeah so like yeah. 2022 uh 2022 yeah. you are done yeah so that was that that will be when you sit down to decide whether you are strong enough to be on your feet or you still want to continue but even that one cry it's, it's a managerial strategy to know what to do next okay it's not that we've not thought about it but mm-hmm. me i believe if mm-hmm. Me. but have you also brought in much that the label also decide to continue with the, r- the record deal with you because you know you are not the only person to decide when a yeah, contract yeah, exactly, is over exactly. they would also exactly. ask themselves um creamy staying did we get enough from him have we benefited enough exactly. did we even get what we put in exactly and do I, we even want him to stay or exactly yeah. so looking at the books do you also think that creamy i've done enough to at least warrant me another five-year term whatever i think doesn't affect the label too much because like i said your mic can come up a little bit please. like i said it's a Good. managerial strategy so mm-hmm. it will be with the ceo of the company and his management team to assess creamy and say oh did creamy get that thing for us is creamy that artist that we want to still keep mm-hmm. or want to still work with mm-hmm. and i know i know if the decision comes from kewa mm-hmm. whatever it is to me he would want the best for me so mm-hmm. he will help me if he says go he knows why he's saying that mm-hmm. if he says stay he knows why he's saying that so mm-hmm. i would i would say let's just look out for the best for creamy and the best for highly spiritual music that's all mm-hmm. in fact we wish for the best for you yes sir. At, at the moment um f- four years you've done four years already you mean this year will be <laughs> yeah. the fourth year yeah has it been successful for you as an artist like do you think that okay i, I have succeeded as an artist evidently i've had the biggest songs in ghana mm. and you should know that talking about brand where the brand has actually grown for to now everybody can see clearing that it has been successful for creamy mm. it has moved from a stage to a bigger stage mm. Well, mm. so it mm. has been successful mm. and yet evident everybody can see it so now that you are successful are your parents giving you pressure to settle down maybe to marry <laughs> or something because <laughs> I, my I mom was, did I was, sometimes I was, my I mom was, says that 
my mom says, hey, cool. So, I'm going to say, what are but now come grandkids in a mua. Mm. 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 Grandma, grandma, mm. grandma, baby, baby, I'm mm. here. Because I'm not the only child. And you but have. You are the superstar among oh, her children. Uh, well, no, the superstar's children, they are. You see, Titi. Now, boom, we didn't want you. No, and all my brother's kids are all superstar kids. No, 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 no. They are not creamy. <laughs> no, let, let's accept that fact. <laughs> Mommy will still want to see. So, so what, what response have you been giving to? Hey, when she comes up with such discussions, though. Sometimes I try to crack a joke for her to laugh so that she forgets. But she'll tell you, oh, don't, change the, don't change the topic. And then I tell her, it is time. It is mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. uh, readiness is not having money or, you know, having the finance or fi yeah. having the means mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. Readiness is... Or even having a, a, a something to a do. something to... Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. I know. Very you can't even say dick. God bless you. You say? You can't even say dick. Like, me say? Like dick. <laughs> but <laughs> like, I believe... Like readiness I believe is not just readiness having Readiness is, is mental. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Dick, <laughs> and Harry. Nice yeah, I, Every Tom, Dick, and Harry. You are blessed, my brother. <laughs> Receive that anointing. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um... Like I tell her, readiness is not uh, the means. It's sometimes mental, sometimes from the heart, sometimes if mm, you emotional. Have to, and yeah, all that. you have to mm. make the connection with that mm. person. So you think you, Creamy is not ready for settling at the moment? Yeah, just not ready. Mm. And, is, and, is it because and, the and choice, then, the choice is a problem for you? You have so many to choose from. Is that a oh, problem? No, 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 not that, not that, not that. Um, you, sometimes you meet nice people, you meet nice ladies, mm -hmm. and specifically you meet the ones. Charlie, your, your, your taste, yeah. You say, hey, machine. This, <laughs> this is proper G <laughs> I like that yeah, machine. But, uh, uh -huh. but uh -huh. it is not about what you see. It's the connection. Mm -hmm. I, to me, I believe in connection. You have mm -hmm. to uh, connect with the person. Mm -hmm. the person has so, to have you met the right person with a connection yet? Oh, I, I'm not searching. When I'm se when I start searching, I'll meet the person. You are not searching. Yeah. But you found some already. We've seen plenty. We've seen uh, plenty. And the, some all, who qualify. And they're all beautiful. Hey, Ghana. Emao how? Emao Edumo. Repet your opum. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so are you going to marry from... Would you marry someone who lives outside Ghana? Should you get no, an opportunity? I don't, I don't put that... Mm. Oh, I mean musicians, them, it's one of their things. Like you get some young you things. get some young girl it's, it's who has her papers. Oh, no, you no, you no, fire no. one, fire two, emuye, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> Oh, it's not it's like not, the patapa style. It's not a benchmark. Okay. I know it is uh, not. It's not mm. it's but not it comes with some advantage though. <laughs> What what you see as an advantage might be a disadvantage to somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's a personal preference. Mm -hmm. I believe that it's just getting the connection with somebody you really love and really somebody who understands you. That you also understand you. You mm. build a life together. That's mm. it, that's it. Mm. It doesn't matter where the person comes from. Mm. We we will still wait for the right time when yes, Mr. Creamy uh, Creamy will send us his um, invitation card. Definitely, definitely. We all come and enjoy some good time. Definitely, definitely. Uh, <laughs> this man, do you know what he wrote? What did he? <laughs> he said, "Are you dating?" Like that was what he wrote to me right now. You, this one you saw him, so I saw it. Uh huh. <laughs> I saw it. Uh, yeah. So he's asking that, "Are you dating?" No, sir. Uh, what was that? That word. He swept. Ah, he, uh, he swept. <laughs> <laughs> I had to swerve it. <laughs> uh, so you want to tell us that cream is not dating now? Swerving is a technique that you have to learn. <laughs> In this business. In eh? this business. I see. Now, 2021 just started. As Thank an you, artist, sir. what are some of your New Year resolutions so far? Um, we planned, especially with my management, we planned that whatever we weren't able to do in 2020, we are bundling everything, scrutinizing it, and bringing it into 2021. We're making sure that whatever we weren't able to achieve, we did achieve some, but mm -hmm. whatever we weren't able to achieve, mm -hmm. we, we should make it bigger for 2021. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about um, bigger collaborations. I'm talking about EPs, albums. I'm talking about um, more video shoots, more music. Like, make sure that 2021 is like an, a, a 2.0 version of Creamy mm -hmm. so that um, Ghanaians will understand a better side of Creamy and would, would you know, bring Ghana music to different level mm -hmm. now i know artists are now struggling or striving for their 
personal shows and personal concerts yeah. has creamy gotten there yet are you ready do you think you are fit that you can stick say creamy in say labadi creamy in here i want to i want to make sure i have more songs in the system that are doing well or even more songs in the system um i want i want to be able to do a show that everybody will come and enjoy for if if it's like two hours everybody will come and enjoy creamy back to back to back and be on their feet and enjoy um what made me create that benchmark was watching michael jackson the munich show mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from the beginning of the show to the end there wasn't a dull moment mm -hmm. and you can't you can't do a personal concert and have like five six songs if you rate every song um if you give a time stamp for every song like let's say three minutes times five and you want you want people to enjoy your show that show that munich show was three hours straight for even one artist michael jackson mm. was three including hours, the supporting artist or including he, the supporting okay artists, good yeah that's what i for want to three explain. hours mm. straight and he made sure that the stage looked like a music video mm. so i was like charlie this is the level i want to create for myself this is 19 19 is 97 mm -hmm. It's 97 no when i watch the 97 show i can't compare it to any of our shows i'm not saying we are not good i'm saying we are getting there mm. but i want to be the one to say hey my shows can be compared to the michael jackson's can be compared to the so so, so, so ar around how many songs how many albums how many eps will then uh, will uh, creamy then say that okay i am ready if if i have an album mm -hmm. Uh, that that makes up for let's say about about 20 songs or let's say 15 songs it's a good number of songs to be able to stand on stage and perform mm -hmm. for let's say an hour mm -hmm. or even an hour and a half mm -hmm. if you double that with supporting acts and all of that you can wrap around to let's say two hours you know that you have a good content for the people mm -hmm. so i don't mind if if i have an album mm -hmm. to do a show or mm. an album or two to do a show i mm. don't mind i'm ready for that so so in short in your thinking you still think that um creamy hasn't arrived fully yet in my thinking i believe that to do a show for myself mm -hmm. i have to accumulate a number of songs so that people wouldn't be bored they would have a good show mm. that they would know they, they've gotten value for the money mm. that they are going to pay to come mm. and watch cream mm. mm. as an artist mm. is that something you would want to do that you've not done yet even in your career oh yes i've not released an album yet um uh, i've not played my own show yet mm -hmm. uh, i feel my songs are now going international but i want my songs to stand better internationally so that they can uh recognize creamy as an artist internationally mm. i feel these are the levels that i have not gotten to yet mm -hmm. that i want to push myself to get there and i know rome wasn't built in a day that's true i know a lot of people are doing what i'm doing mm. i have to find a way and stand out with my music with my voice with my act and everything so that even the brand has to stand out so that it would be accepted or acclaimed internationally too mm. what are you doing mm. right with Patrick Bay because it seems to be in even YouTube trends what are you doing right with it um I think Patrick Bay is a good song but uh the promotion from my management team has been incredible mm. and big shout outs to Kewa Kewa has went all out Kewa actually <laughs> Kewa actually drove his car mm -hmm. to some of the places mm -hmm. that i called him <laughs> and i was like hey how about today you came i said hey <laughs> 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 and i was like my friend my friend get your act together I mean, say, yes, sir. <laughs> like actually he put himself in this uh, um, mm. promo and anything mm. i called him for he came through for me lucky has been there with me he, always coming from Temo mm. to make sure that he's everywhere mm -hmm. uh, that i go and you know guiding me and all these mm. things i feel the promo has gone on and kobiche was instrumental mm. Mm. I, apart I, saw, from, I saw his video apart from posting my videos and it's not just kobiche all the bloggers all mm. the media guys mm. Mm. supported 
but they all granted me interviews and they all did videos to post just to mm. i was i was just i was just happy to see that people are genuinely supporting queen really out of love mm. i really appreciate that thank you all so right. much in case you've not heard it this is the song the new one coming from